I heard tonight to uh, entertain you a little bit during this, uh, what, interlude, I should say, or what's going on right now. And uh, first things first, uh, you guys know, my name's Just Sage. Uh, tonight, after I'm done, somebody asked you out there, what did I uh, have to offer you? Well, what happened? You can just tell one thing, I'm Just Sage, okay? Just like you guys. Nobody really that special. But some things I like to do for people, uh, kind of is a little special at times. And uh, one thing is, is uh, well, uh, I let you know right now, I, I don't do tricks, okay? Tricks is my ex-girlfriend, right? <laughs> right? Easy now. Now look, I, I also gotta let you know too that, see, with, with a trick, a trick is something that's meant to deceive you, okay? I'm just here to please you. But no further ado, I gotta show you how I get a handle on life, okay? I kind of rub my hands like this, and uh, well, I look ever so a bit. Oh, well, look at that. Got a handle right there. I tell you, I want to get down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, get back up, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> now on to the meat of the matter. Uh, all right. Uh, I was dating this woman at one point, and she said to me, "She said, I've seen you do coin stuff. I've seen you do card stuff. I like to see you do something that's completely different. All in all, you know, I like to see you do magic naked or something like that." And I'm like, "Wow, well, at least a few places for me to hide things, you know." And uh, I'm not gonna do that for you. <laughs> it's not one of those kind of shows. But uh, I do have something to share with you. I did create this. For some reason, these are, I only had a few things in my pocket. One was this little pink uh, silk. And the other thing was, is I had this, uh, a, a thimble. Now, what I was doing carrying around a thimble and, and a little silk like that, well, you gotta hang out with me sometime, you'll know why, <laughs> okay? Uh, all right, here we go. So uh, basically, I came up with this idea, and, and, and basically, it's, it's this. I, I call this the nimble thimble, okay? And we're about ready to find out why this, this thimble can really be so nimble, okay? So I learned if I go like this, I go, uh, well, I go once and twice and three times, a lady, you can see that it's gone, right? No, it's on my finger the whole time, okay? So it makes it so special. <laughs> so then I thought, okay, I gotta figure out a better way to do this one. I have an idea. I think the thimble like this, I start right my hand like that, go, oops. You can see it's gone, right? No, it's on my finger the whole time, right? <laughs> That's how it makes this thimble so, uh, so nimble, actually. Uh, actually, you know, I, and then I decided I was going to really change it all out. And I, I thought, well, let me take the thimble, right? And I put it on my finger like this, and I put it in my hand. And I push it all the way to the very end. You can see it right there, right? See it right there at the very end, a little silver dot? That's the, okay, thank you. Because <laughs> I'm a little blind here, right? <laughs> so uh, the question was, is that, uh, do you think it's possible for me to take this, uh, this little silk and stuff it into that little thimble? All of it. Is it possible? No. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta share this with you. See, I've been walking on this planet for quite some time, and I, and I used to say I was looking for hope in humanity. And I have four sisters, and my youngest sister's name is Hope. So I already have hope. True story. And uh, so what I've been looking for is a little faith in humanity. And none of you can think that this is possible, huh? No. Wow. Hallelujah. All right. Hey, you know. <laughs> hey, man, man. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, well, I'm going to try it anyway, just for you guys, okay? Just to prove to you, when you ever put your mind to something, you think about things for a bit, that anything really is possible. And uh, it's amazing the things that kind of happen with people nowadays. Now look, as you can see, I get a little snap like that. And if I put my hand, you'll see, well, it's kind of, it's kind of empty, isn't it? <laughs> and I, well, thank you. <laughs> the is that they like to make things disappear, right? I learned that one of the, some of the best magicians in the world are ex-crooks, you see. The difference is, is that when they make things disappear, they make it ready to appear right where it started, okay? And it doesn't end up at a junkie's house or like at a pawn shop or anything else like that, right? And so uh, I thought, is this, uh, is it in my hat? No. no, exactly, okay. Is it in my mouth? No. Are you sure? No. I got a lot of calories. <laughs> Wait. <coughs> People's mouths nowadays. <laughs> well, they sell them out the back of the <laughs> What the environment was before I came here. So, uh, one thing about being a magician a lot of times you gotta always work out the fly. <laughs> and the whole amount of process was very wonderful, but I'm just thinking, how am I gonna do this for you guys? How am I gonna do this for you guys? And I figured it out. So, I'm gonna do a little C set here. And here's my hat. I was on the street, whatever. It's kind of how you can get it. This is a routine I've been doing for quite some time, and uh, I really enjoy it. And uh, since I kind of started everything about my ex-girlfriend, well, last time I was ever here, 
In fact, it was a sitting span, and we were here on stilts for a big party. And that was the last time I've ever been here. So, uh, in behalf of Vanessa, those are soldiers soul who's in uh, Europe right now for this day, I'm going to share a chain with you, okay? What I'm going to do is I have, uh, I have $4 here, okay? Four silver dollars. And I'm going to make each one of them magically reappear at one, by one, into this cup here, right? How am I going to do it? Hopefully very well, <laughs> okay? So, uh, all right, this is how the story goes. I sent my ex-girlfriend to the store with a $5 bill to get me some change. And she came back with one, two, three, four, four dollars. I guess now I know why she's next to for it, right? <laughs> Put it down on her account. Four dollars. Four dollars you hear a holler, sage, please stop. Put it in my hat right now, I'll stop right now. Nobody ever wants to see me stop. Four dollars going to the hand right here. I got a cup like this. I learned this one in the 1980s, okay? Because back when you actually play videos at MTV. What I'm giving you here right now is called actuality, okay? Kind of goes like this. It goes, whoop, and whoop. <laughs> one down, three more to go. <laughs> one down, three more to go. Three dollars. Three dollars. You hear your holler. Sage, please stop. Put it in my hat. I'll stop right now. Nobody ever wants to see you stop. <laughs> okay, three dollars. You got one, a two, and a three. Three dollars. Three dollars. Uh, this one, the thing I'm going to do this one is uh, I think I'm going to I'm going to toss it up in the air and catch it under my leg. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo! Here somebody is. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? And alley-oop. Whoop, oh, whoop, oh, there it is. And oh, no, oh. <laughs> That's all about. Okay. She's still water up there and we find out. Okay, now it leaves me with two dollars. Two dollars. I have to get into this cup. Two dollars to hear a holler. Sage, please stop. Put it in my hat right now, I'll stop. I guess I'd be better off dead, bro. Mm -hmm. I got that. Okay. You got that. All right. Two dollars. And then here they go. This one right here, would you do me a favor? Will you just be lean over here and just tap on my hand for me? Wow, I guess I must have a stigmata, because uh, yeah. that would pass right through. <laughs> now see, if you think that you're on to me, yeah. well, I gotta let you know right now, that's why you're sitting over there, because I'm claustrophobic, okay? <laughs> so, that's why I'm not. So now I've got one dollar, okay? One dollar left, one dollar left, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, I've learned a few things in my life. I used to hear the sage, you know, there's two sides to everything, right? You've heard that, correct? Okay, well, I learned that it's kind of false. I learned that life is like a coin, you see? Uh, on one side, you have heads, okay? And on the other side, you have tails. Then you have where heads and tails meet, which therefore leads me to believe there's three sides to everything. The edge is right here. That's where you'll always find me. See, if I go to point this, I go here, when you're holding that one up, see? Uh -huh. I was assuming you just don't have the edge here, all right? <laughs> but that's not what this is all about. What this is about, is me getting this last coin into that cup. And just for you, how am I going to do it? Well, I'm going to do it by stamping out possibilities. And you know how somebody like me stamps out possibilities? I'll tell you how. By using my feet. <laughs> okay? The last dollar under the shoe just for you. <laughs> okay? That's why the chair is here, right? Here we go. To and fro, watch it, watch it go. It was kind of like a relationship with my ex-girlfriend. It was a love and hate relationship. She hated to love me. And guys, I just want to live in a world with no hate. You ready? Here you go.
race. No, I don't, because that was too big to get into the cup. <laughs> but what happened right there, ladies and gentlemen, just to close the deal, is you see, I was talking about real change. And I've learned that real change only comes from one place and one place only. That's the side. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joe Sage. That's my show. Thank you for being here. Uh,